everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing wonderful this week i'm doing a paint with me in my brand new sketchbook which is super exciting as an artist getting a new sketchbook is always the best feeling so i am happy to share this experience with you guys the sketchbook that i picked out is the strathmore watercolor edition i believe this sketchbook has 48 pages and is 300 gm which is kind of crazy a little unheard of but amazing while i was painting on it i felt like the paper could handle so much layering and water it felt indestructible almost and it was a very enjoyable experience i will have to say up front though that i unfortunately really dislike this sketchbook and it's only because of the texture of the paper there is so much texture and it's something that i always try to avoid when getting sketchbooks and paper for my gouache art but at the time of purchasing i don't think i was really thinking too much obviously i was also purchasing peach tober materials at the same time and i knew i needed a new sketchbook so i just quickly grabbed it i have previously used the strathmore sketchbook brand and i absolutely love the experience so when i saw the strathmore watercolor edition i just grabbed it and i also questioned why i never bought it before and after a month of letting it sit on my shelf during peach tober I finally got to crack it open and I realized why I never purchased it. It's because there's so much texture on this paper. It's probably the most textured paper I've seen. Other than that, the sketchbook is amazing. It doesn't stay open flat, which I know a lot of people dislike, but if you are a watercolor artist or do anything with lots of layers, this sketchbook is for you. All right, let's get into the paintings. This week, I really have been inspired by circus iconography. I recently just finished The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I really love this book. It's my favorite book of all time. This was a reread. I just love the circus and the magic within the book and I wanted to implement that into my art somehow. So I decided to create little characters in my own circus. I started with the clown, which I don't know about you guys. I feel like clown imagery is so fun and interesting interesting and weird and I love it. I really wanted to explore new color palettes. While I was designing these art pieces, I was looking at a lot of art and nature pictures that I was really drawn to and I ended up going with, with a pink and green color palette. I'm always drawn to this color palette. I do use pink and green quite a bit but I don't use these two colors solely very often so I decided I wanted to explore that a little bit and on top of that, I wanted the pinks to be very muted while the greens were very vibrant and saturated. Gave off this really cool effect. I want to say cell shading but I don't think that's the right term. I don't really know. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? If so, please comment and let me know but if not, I think it just looks very cool and it makes me want to explore like this two-toned color palette a bit more. So the next one, I wanted to paint the illusionist which is a term that is used in a night circus a lot just think of it like a magician in a way i okay here's the thing i was continuing on wanting to try new color palettes my initial design was teal and magenta which i hate that color palette no offense to any teal lover but i feel like it's the worst color to me it just reminds me of middle school i would take a poop green over a teal any day <laughs> so this color palette is not ideal for me but i decided that i don't want to spend too much time thinking about these just because they're practice and on top of that it is a new color palette that i haven't tried so i'm gonna give it a go but in the end i did enjoy the painting process and to be honest I do really like how it turned out. I feel like she's giving Alice in Wonderland vibes. To be fair, I'm not a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. I have not watched a lot of Alice in Wonderland media or read the book or anything, but to me, it reminds me of it. This whole idea was derived from wanting to paint a striped corset, bring back the night circus. They describe a lot of stripes, which is a very circus staple, so I really wanted to include like a striped corset, and the idea just kind of grew from there. I also wanted to mention the shading in this painting. I absolutely love how the shading turned out. It gave 
the character here so much life and that is something that i struggle with in my style recently i've been very dedicated to improving my art to be able to translate my ideas more on paper this is the first step of many but i really want to sit down and practice different ways on how to shade and how to draw and how to do hair just because i feel like i got stuck in a style really early really early in my art skills and i feel like i need to break out of it a little bit i still really love my style i just want to add on to it so the characters look more alive and i think this is a very good first step <laughs> So the next painting is a fan art from the anime Free Ren. I want to say that I barely do fan art, but I think that is untrue. I might be doing fan art almost all the time. I just try to do it more subtly. But this time, it's a painting of the actual character, exactly how she is in the show. So I would say that this is fan art. <laughs> I really love the, how this painting turned out. It turned out so soft, which is exactly what I was going for. The show, if you guys haven't watched the anime yet, it is definitely giving Studio Ghibli vibes. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a cozy, wholesome adventure fantasy. But the intro in specific, I really love the colors that they choose. It's very saturated but super soft at the same time, which is exactly how I want my art to look. I actually ended up watching the intro of the show and pausing it in a specific frame that I absolutely love and referencing that frame of the intro for the color palette just because i really really liked it and i wanted to capture the essence of that but it was just like one specific frame i don't think that color palette is used very much throughout the story but nonetheless i took some inspiration from the show i know that i've talked about the color palette like three times already but i do really love it i love how soft it turned out and it makes me really want to explore like soft and subtle contrast in my art it reminds me of breath of the wild so it kind of just holds a special place in my heart overall i really like how this turned out it's not really my best the reason why i don't do fan art that often fan art in regards to like just straight up painting the character is because i think if i am drawing based off of a reference from the animated show it tends to turn out really flat because i am just referencing an already stylized picture there is definitely a skill to draw a stylized character in your own style which i don't know if i have yet so to counteract this next time i think i'm going to try to find a reference picture of an actual person and draw based off that reference picture and then afterwards i will tweak 
the facial features or whatever to make it look like the character and hopefully that way it will give more dimension to the drawing i really really love how this turned out and i can't wait to watch more free run you guys have to let me know if you end up watching it because i am like on episode three so i'm quite early on but i really love it so yeah this is probably the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate your guys's support it means so much to me i will see you guys very soon bye